Now, one type of depreciation on page 388 is something called obsolescence. Now, even if you've never heard of obsolescence before, that word obsolescence, does it sound good or bad? It just sounds bad, right? Obsolescence just sounds bad. It kind of sounds like it's obsolete or something's not going well. So on page 388, obsolescence, I would make a note. There are two types of obsolescence for right now. There's functional obsolescence and external obsolescence. First of all, next to functional obsolescence, I would write the term inside property line. Functional obsolescence is obsolescence that exists inside the property line. Right below that, I would write the term usually curable. Functional obsolescence is usually curable, and it exists inside the property line. Economic obsolescence, below that on page 388, the book actually calls it external obsolescence, but I would make a note that it's also called economic obsolescence. Next to that, I would write outside the property line, outside the property line, and below that, I would write usually incurable. I'll give you an example of something, and we'll determine together whether it's functional or economic. We'll start with, well, first let's review. Functional obsolescence is inside the property line. It's usually curable. External obsolescence or economic obsolescence is outside the property line. It's usually incurable. Here's, what I, here's an example. You tell me which one it is. You have a house in Palm Springs with no air conditioning system. That's functional obsolescence because inside the property, it lacks some, it's there's something about the inside of the property that's not desirable. It doesn't have air conditioning in a very hot area. What about a house with a one-car detached garage? Functional or economic? Functional. It's still inside the property line. Is it desirable to have a one-car garage? No, it's generally not. Most houses today have a two or three or more car garage, right? And detached, while sometimes it can be very aesthetically pleasing, a lot of the time people don't like detached garages because if it's raining and you have your groceries and everything, you've got to get soaked to get in the house. So a one-car detached garage would be an example of functional obsolescence. What about if your house backs up to an active railroad track? Functional or economic? economic. That's economic, right? It's, an, it's external obsolescence. Can you fix that? No, right? You can't cure that. You can't call up Metrolink and say, you know, don't drive the train past my house. I work nights. You, they're not, they don't care. What about if your house is near the flight pattern of a local airport? Functional or economic? Economic again, right? You can't, it's not curable, and it's a force that's outside the property line. 